It's Brutal Battle Beer Break. Thanks for checking this episode out. Today we're going to be doing something by Evil Twin. Uh, Evil Twin, by the way, is not set in one place. One of those gypsy brewers that people keep hearing about from time to time. Um, so he's kind of all over the place making all sorts of beers. Uh, the beer of Evil Twin that I'm going to be trying this time is Imperial Biscotti Break Natal. Pretty pleased with cherry on top, which is basically supposed to be um, like a their bis Imperial Biscotti Break, which is an Imperial Porter, um, but with some sour cherry added to it. So I've had this beer before, but it's been uh, well over a year. It's been a long time. Uh, 11.5% alcohol by volume, so nothing to be trifled with. At least not by yourself. Alright. Let me check out the color. Oh, it's pouring relatively thick, as I kind of expected. Like it. Let's see what... Super dark, as one would expect. You got like some nice kind of muddy brown um, coloration around the edges, which you're not going to really be able to see. But trust me, it's dark. I can't see anything through it. Big surprise. It's got decent lacing. You can tell 11.5% is probably about right. Um, real viscous sticking to the side of the glass as you swirl. Mm, I smell a lot. You know, it's really funny because I was expecting that I would smell a ton of the sour cherry on this. And I don't know if I remember smelling it before when I had it a long time ago, but... I get a little bit of that, but I get a lot of that kind of chocolatiness, that kind of cookie breadiness, kind of like the biscotti, as it says. <sighs> Man, it's so chocolatey. <sighs> like just nice dark malt. So cookie like, little butteriness to it, a little bit of vanilla in there. And that, you know, sour cherry is there, but it's it's like not all that pronounced, which I was assuming it really would be. It's very harmonious, the nose, if you will. Let's try it. The sour cherry's there, mainly on the back end of the flavor, and it kind of gives you like a little bit of that kind of lingering sourness on your tongue, but it kind of feels like the heavy malts and that chocolatey aspect and like the vanilla and the butteriness and that cookie breadiness is kind of laying a layer down on your tongue first so that you get that sourness but the sourness is kind of softened by you know what what's in between which is all that maltiness that kind of sticks to your tongue hmm i'm tasting all the notes that I was getting in the nose. And actually as I'm sipping it a little bit more, I'm getting more of that kind of sour cherry aspect to it. But right up front, it's all those like dark malts too. It's really funny because it's like tons of like the the dark notes, like the chocolate and the, you know, vanilla and the cookiness and all that right up front. And then you get some sourness, which sticks around for a while. And then it goes back to all those dark notes once again, and then I get that kind of lingering tartness um, to f just finish everything out. It's crazy, so it's kind of like an up and down, you know, ride with this beer. Very, very interesting beer. Pretty good beer. I like it. I will say, while the the sour cherry aspect is interesting, it is giving it a tad bit of a medicinal quality to me right now. But that may very well be because this is on the colder side. I'm assuming that as it warms up that kind of, you know, chocolatiness is going to balance that sourness out a little bit more. And it's going to be less kind of cough medicine-y, but still good. Um, nice beer. I like it. Uh, I would say I, I like the regular Biscotti Break more um, because while the sour cherry aspect is properly introduced here and pretty well balanced, I just, you know, it's just my preference. I like to focus more on those, like, deep, dark chocolate aspects and, like, the cookie and vanilla and all that. So, um, for me, if I'm going to get another beer, uh, I'd be looking for the regular Biscotti Break or the Donut Biscotti Break, which is a nice one as well. But uh, if you like what you heard here, I would not deter anyone from picking this beer up. Evil Twin, you typically do good things, and in this case, 
you did another good thing. So thank you very much. Everybody go ahead, go out, have yourself a nice beer.